Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you today about why I know that the Bible is so very important to you and to me, especially if we want to learn how to follow Jesus Christ and be a good, a good disciple of Jesus. Let me read this to you. It's a word of God to Joshua. It says, Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left that you may prosper wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I uh, actually refer to that passage of scripture in every Bible that I give to, to people. Um, I've done that many, many times, and I always refer them to this passage. When it says in this scripture, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, at first it really troubled me, because I, I read the Bible literally, what does it say? And I thought, does that mean I'm not supposed to speak or say the word? Because it says, don't let it depart from your mouth. And then I realized that's not what it's saying. What it is saying is we're supposed to chew on it, and swallow it. We're supposed to absorb the Word of God into our life. I don't mean literally I'm going to pick up my Bible and chew it and eat the Bible. I mean I'm going to read it, meditate on the words that it contains, and accept them into my life because that is my spiritual nutrition, my spiritual food, is to read the Word of God. And by reading the Word of God and applying it, that's what he means when he's talking about observing it, to do according to all that's written in it. It means do it, obey it, follow what God tells us to do. So the question is, how do you do that? How do you go about doing that? Well, I'm going to take a passage of scripture and I want to begin today, we'll continue the next time, talking with you about how do you absorb the Word of God. So I'm going to read a passage and then I'll begin to talk about it today, okay? Psalm 19. So we take a passage of the Word of God, we read it, and then we're going to see what do we get out of it. It says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows His handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone throughout, throughout all the earth, and their words... To the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming out of its chamber, and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven, and its circuit to the other, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. When it talks about the heavens declaring the glory of God, it says if you really want to know God, you can for example, examine all of the creation that he, he made for us. This uh, wonderful creation declares the glory of God. De glory means to uh, unveil. It's the revelation of God itself. The glory of God is the re revealing him. And if you look at all of the creation, then you and I will understand how absolutely amazing God is, how much bigger and more complex God is than just a simple little idol. Our God, our Creator God, knows you and knows me, and we can get to know Him if we will just observe His creation. Okay? God bless you. Have a great day. See you next time.